Hey, everybody, we are live at Pay Studios in New York right now with Sean. Guys, thank you so much for doing this, and thanks for doing it on a show day, cutting it pretty close to the show. You're going to get right out of here and head over to Irving Plaza. Um, you are going to play three songs today. They're all off the self-titled album, which uh, just came out June 7th on Sumerian Records, and coming up right now is If. Thank you guys um can you so what when people go out to irving tonight when people go out to royale in boston theater of living arts in philly uh, i'm not going to just parrot all your dates back to you but there are many many dates including asia in july and august and there's dates in western europe september and october um can you talk a little bit about the the similarities to this stripped down setup and some of the uh, vast differences between what happens here and what's going to happen on stage tonight um a main difference guitar wise is at our actual shows, we have way bigger pedal boards. Like Eric and I have uh, some pretty small ones set up right now, four pedals each. I think yeah, I have we like actually, 16 on stage. Yeah, we actually just set these up like yesterday. yesterday so. Yeah, Dude, it was fascinating to watch you guys put together this arrangement on like no time at all. It was uh, it became clear that you are very organized thinkers and, and wonderful musicians and clear communicators, too. Um, and it's cool to watch you. I mean, I didn't see you pare down 16 pedals down to this, but uh, did see you arrange this in no time flat. Yeah, thanks. Um, we love pedals. We're kind of obsessed with them now. So it was actually fun to just try to come up with a cool setup for this specifically do you by any chance this might run into a brick wall and be a dumb question do you know circles around the sun with does neil castle is one of the guys from uh chris robinson brotherhood he's previously the guy with the biggest uh pedal board whoever came in here it's bigger than oh, well. most mixing boards i've ever seen and he operates it with his feet and i will move on from that immediately can you tell us Did what is coming up all of it 
he dude, he was busy. It was, he was uh, just like, there was a lot going on. Yeah, it was not it was not that big just for show. There was quite a bit of interaction happening. That's sick. Yeah, that's it's cool. so hard to do that live. I'm just like trying to get to the next song and like turning off all the pedals and well, Yeah, and I would right imagine ones. exponentially so with the setup that you just made up yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, this one's fun. I I, I only have to click two pedals. Well, dude, it sounds great. Uh, thank you for arranging this as quickly as you did and, again, doing this on show day. Can you tell us what's coming up second off of your uh, self-titled album? We're going to play Rosewood. Thank you guys. Um, did I know? We, I mean, we haven't had really a chance to go through what's happening in this room and all those tapes that are sitting behind you. But there, this is like fifty or sixty years of rock and roll history back here. Um, there's a Yes tape up there, and um, I'm not going to go too far into my knowledge of prog rock because it's not that deep at all. But you are sitting right in front of a Yes tape. I'm wondering, were you listening to the the prog guys and girls uh, growing up, or did you? How did you find yourself uh, in where you are today? Um, it was more, we were listening to more fusion stuff, like Return to Forever, Chick Corea, uh, who else? This crazy avant-garde band is Stratosphere. Yeah. yeah, a lot of, like, newer acts. We, we don't really listen to prog music. We just kind of started making it, I guess. Yeah, we listen to a lot of jazz stuff, a lot of fusion, a lot of, like, electronic, hip-hop stuff. We listen to stuff. a lot of metal, too. Like, yeah, and metal. So I guess it's like a mix of all the shit that we listen to. How do you guys do in, have you toured Scandinavia? How do you do out there? It seems like a perfect place for you to go next if you haven't been. We haven't been there. Please go. I haven't yeah. looked at the comment section yet, but I bet it's full of uh, Norwegians, Swedes, and uh, the other one saying 
come here oh, nice. right now because we need you here. And your math rock and, uh, uh, I don't know, sounding great so far. And can you tell us what's coming up third off the self-titled album? Yeah, we're going to play the song Dead End. It's not on our normal set list, so Thank hopefully you. it's cool. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming in here and doing this. We appreciate it very much. Uh, have a great show tonight at Irving Plaza. Uh, great show at Royale in Boston tomorrow. Uh, Theater of Living Arts in Philly on Sunday. You're across Asia, July and August, Western Europe, September and October. Travel safely, please, between all those dates. And uh, best of luck on the self-titled album. Dudes, thanks for coming by and doing this. Heck yeah, thank you for having us. Thanks a us. lot. Yeah. This is cool.